hi welcome welcome back to my channel and today i thought i would just start filming a um realistic week reading vlog because i did one of these a little bit ago a couple months ago now and it was an unrealistic reading week i had a bunch of extra days off some freedom but this week this week is a very typical work week um if you don't know i work a nine to five um job it's an office job and i work 40 hours a week and i'm pretty sure don't have anything extra going on not that i can think of which is why i thought i'd film this um today is currently sunday um i have a bunch of stuff on my to-do list to finish up um but i know at some point i will read today i am seeing like the last video but i'm still currently reading city of strife and lights of gaza city of strife i am about three page 300 now there's 430 so i've got about 130 pages i am hoping to make some leeway on there but i also need to finish editing a video um and i really want to sit down and like watch turn on cold case files and do it my some of my warm i might paint my numbers because i did that last night and it was so nice it was so nice um but yeah i'm currently reading city of strife i am most definitely going to finish that this week especially with only having 130 pages left i downloaded a couple of books on my kindle what have i got i've got unsold by will wright and then off to the races by lc silver downloaded and i would like to get to those soon but i also oh i forgot i have last night at the telegraph club checked out from the library as well and that is due back next sunday i think yeah that is due back next sunday so a week from now so that i'll prioritize that prioritize that i'm going to prioritize city of strife and last night at the telegraph club and hopefully also i will be able to read some more of light in gaza um i have not taken the chance to read more of that and i should um so hopefully get through like a couple of essays of that this week so those are the reading plans um during this realistic typical week in my life just hit four just about four i just got home from work i am going to do oh, i'm gonna do a workout um and when i work out i watch an episode of whatever show i'm watching um and currently i'm making my way through the new season of doctor who which is like all my tv shows right now are hitting they are like this season of doctor who is like exceptionally good and I don't know if I'm just saying that because we've had so many like meh seasons of Doctor Who that this one is just like actually being good. It's just like makes it exceptional, but it is so good. The last few episodes I've watched, um, Boom, 73 Yards, and Dot and Bubble have just like left me. Like I just don't, I can't stop thinking about them. They're so good. It is so good. So um, I'm going to work out it. Also, watching a good show when I'm working out incentivizes me to work out because these shows are like, at least with Doctor Who, that is my workout show, okay? I can't watch an episode unless I'm working out. That is like the little rule I got for myself. So it being good incentivizes me to work out 
because I want to watch the next episode. So I'm going to do that. Probably won't read again till tonight. I typically read before bed. And so I did read before I went to sleep last night to again another formal, more formal like wrap up of that. But I ended up reading about 60-ish pages last night, which was a, a little bit more than I thought I would, um, which is nice because I only have about 60-ish pages left of the book, so I am hoping to finish the book tonight. So far, I mean, we're in the book. It's been good, and when I do pick it up to read it, it's like very quick read. I think my only thing is, is I did kind of realize last night there is just like a few too many characters, it feels like, because one character kind of started following, and I was like, what is their name again? Even now, I think of the character, I not 100% sure on their name. But my other thing with it is that the big bad of the book, the big bad of the series, because I did realize that after reading the synopsis that they probably are not defeating this guy until the fourth book, fourth and final book of this series. And man, I'm like debating whether or not I want to continue because of how much I hate this villain. And it's not so much the villain itself, but it's like the type of villain. I don't know quite how to explain it, but they are just like, um, if you've ever watched The Boys, Homelander. This character is like Homelander to me, where I actually really like The Boys, the TV show The Boys, but I was not able to finish the last season, season three I think it was, is that the one with Jensen Ackles that came in? Because I hate Homelander so much. There's like, he's, and this is the same with this character in this book, City of Strife, is that like, they are so powerful and they know it and they know how to use their power. And it's not that so much everyone hates them and they take control and kind of thing, but they like have the power because of whatever kind of systems are in place. And so they like legally have all this power and they know it and they take joy in their like, I don't know how to explain it, how it makes it different, but they're just like so like the, f it, you, it feels so helpless to go up against these people. Like there is like no point because they are such like, like they are the product of the system that they are a part of. And so to like to defeat them, you need to defeat the system kind of thing, if that makes sense. And that is such like a daunting big task that you just kind of feel helpless and you want to give up. And that's how this character makes me feel. So I don't think it means it's a badly written character. It's just the type of character that like frustrates me that you can't just like, don't see an easy way to get rid of them. Um, I think it's part of the reason issue. But yeah, that's that so far. I'm, I'm gonna work out and watch Shot too. This is so, uh, it's a full body workout day. this was gonna be a realistic week because there was nothing going on and I'm gonna work my 40 hours. Why well, later? I'm gonna I'm gonna take tomorrow off. Not that I'm gonna take tomorrow off. Uh, tomorrow is Juneteenth and my boss was like oh I'm not really gonna be here on Wednesday Just doing family stuff and the co-worker came up and was like oh it's Juneteenth can we take the day off? It's technically a federal holiday. And he's like, oh yeah, it is. Cause it is, it's a newer one. Um, so he's letting us take tomorrow off, which will be nice to get that extra day off this week. So I guess it's not the most realistic week in my life, but eh, we'll still continue. Uh, it is Tuesday, it is Tuesday. My brain feels fried right now. It wasn't like a hard day at work. It's not a busy or hard time of work right now. I just, I feel like I was more productive today than I have been <laughs> um, because it hasn't been that busy. But today I feel like I was pretty productive, which means things got done. But now my eyes don't want to stare at a screen and don't know how to form words and sentences any more, at least not for the next like hour or so. So I don't really know what I'm going to do because all I want to kind of do is like turn my brain off. There we go. See if we can talk. But I guess while I have a year, because I don't know how much I want to pick up the camera right now. I finished I finished City of Strife last night, which was about 60 pages. It was fine. I think I'm giving it about like a 2.75. It was fine. It was okay. I had an enjoyable amount of time, but it was 
getting to the end and that's supposed to be the most exciting part and I don't know if it was because I was reading it at bed and I was tired but if it's really that exciting and even if I'm tired then like I feel like I should still be like energized and excited to read it like not want to put it down but I was like at the end and I didn't care whether or not I put it down to go to sleep and I didn't care whether or not I put it down which is sort of like I was leaning more about a three and that's sort of what made me go mm, maybe I don't like this book as much and just as a general thing like not a general thing but like I just the characters were fine there's almost too many of them to really care about you never knew them too deeply I never felt like I cared deeply about any of the characters um because there was so many of them and the world building felt very bare bones but that isn't to say like it takes place in like one city in whatever this world is and usually I'm like I usually I like those more contained stories like that so it has nothing to do with that uh it's just none of the outside world was barely built up I thought the writing was okay there wasn't anything special it, uh, it almost felt like almost there like there were so many times where I felt like this sentence could have been absolutely amazingly beautiful and I would have been highlighting all over the place in this but nothing was there if I can find it but there was definitely times during the end which also I noticed where like the character was told something like, extreme and grand or something and then their response was that's scary and then right after it said something like it was weird and just the syntax of that in this like fantasy world just was a little off. I don't know if I will continue um, only because I think to continue it I would probably need to buy them which is only like three dollars which is not bad at all and but I just don't know that I care enough to continue like I would continue if I could continue getting them for free aka I got this from the library but I don't know that I care enough to continue. So that's the update on that book. I should probably, I'll probably be notioning good, well, I already have to do Goodreads, but my little book journal and stuff with information on that. Um, and then, I don't know, I don't think we're gonna read right now. Um, I barely wanna watch YouTube videos, but I plan to start last night at the Telegraph Club tonight. Um, that is due Sunday, and I think I can get this done in this time period, so. That is going to be the book that I start tonight. Hopefully get to finish this week. So I just made this, ouch, brownie in a mug, um, microwavable thing. It was an impulse buy. Not my favorite, but it's a little, a lot too sweet for me. But this is the last one, so I'm finishing up. But it says to microwave it for 50 seconds and then let it sit for like two minutes and if there's one thing you want to know about me is that I will microwave everything and I will never let it sit. I will eat it immediately. It's Thursday now. Uh, I did not update like at all yesterday. Um, to be honest, I was having a terrible, terrible day, but a terrible, terrible day meant for an extremely good reading day. Um, I took myself to the lake just to get like a, I needed a change of scenery. And so I took myself to the lake, was there for a couple hours and I read like 200 pages of last night at the Telegraph Club, which by the way, I am loving. It is so, so good. I was, Kind of worried about reading it um mainly because it's been out for a few years now at this point and it's been really hyped up but i'm not necessarily the target audience for ya anymore and this is ya and ya tends to be a little more on the myth side for me now rather than the hit side so i was really worried about reading this book that i wouldn't like it nearly as much as i was hoping to but i am like halfway through and i love it it is so easy to read it is so easy to get lost in the story it's so fantastic i am gonna eat this up um i would say i'd finish it today but i'm not gonna finish it today i know myself better than that but i am i just finished my workout and so now i'm gonna sit here for maybe the next 30 minutes or so and read we'll see how far i get but i'm definitely gonna be finishing it this week and at least 
hopefully so oh boy b i will be finishing it this week i'm gonna charge this but i just got off of work and i am gonna go sit outside and read for a little bit because i am bound and determined to finish um last night at the graph club today um i think i have around 100 pages left so i think it is very doable with how quickly i've been reading this book okay it is saturday i don't really update once i get home and stuff and get busy but i did go outside and read yesterday and i did finish last night at the telegraph club and i absolutely loved it that book was so good i was so worried about reading it um because it was really hyped up and i just never read it during the hike of its hype and that mixed with YA just not really being the genre type of book for me anymore meant that I was kind of worried that I just was not gonna like this as much as I did but I really loved it um I ended up marking it as like five star more I kind of think about it I think it's probably like a four and a half four point seven five there are just little things that I wish had been expanded upon further um and I also felt like the ending was a little rushed it ended kind of how I thought it would end it was just it just felt more rushed than I thought it should but other than that I really really liked it um I plan to go to the bookstore today and hopefully pick up myself up a copy as well as the next one technically kind of in the series called a scatter of light yeah I I really really liked it and then when I finished that I started reading off to the races by Elsie Silver. I've just heard things about Elsie Silver's books and I've been curious to read stuff by her but like not willing to pay money until I made sure that I actually really liked um, her stuff and so this one was free on Prime and I am only 24 pages in and it is something. It is something. So far we've really haven't given been, been given much. We have our female main character Billy and our male main character Ron and both have gone through some awful things kind of puts them more in the limelight and they have literally just met and Ron acted badly he acted very very badly so um he's not looking too great for me and just some of the writing is so almost cliched I don't know I don't know I've never really read a cowboy romance never really been too much into a cowboy romance I don't think this is like truly cowboy because it sounds like there's a horse farm but it sounds like they're kind of rich I'll probably continue that that is the plan um probably won't go to the stores anytime soon though it's like 8 a.m well it's 8 40 um and they probably don't open for another couple hours so we'll go in a couple hours store. I went to the bookstore. Good news. They had last night at the Telegraph Club, so now I own a copy of this wonderful book. Um, bad news, they didn't have a scatter of light, so I think I'm going to order that one off Amazon because I do want to see a little bit more closure to Kath and Lily's story. Right now, like all day really, I've been working on a paint by numbers. I was watching, I think I watched the entire thing of a uh, true crime dog I found on Netflix. Played my game and now I am casting on for my very first uh, knitting project. Um, but I haven't really read a whole lot. I, I'll read a little bit later tonight. Oh my god it's already seven. It is so much later than I thought it was. Okay wow 
where did the day go? Oh, I also, I watched the last up, the newest episode of Doctor Who, which was the last episode of the season. It was good. Not, I think, not as strong as some of the previous episodes, but it was still good. And in my euphoria of there actually being like a very decent, very good season of Doctor Who, I totally forgot that Millie was only going to be around for one season. And so now I'm sad. Like, I get it. I mean, I don't really get why they only have one season. Maybe she only wanted to do one season. I don't know. The way that they left, I get it. But like, I really liked her as a companion. She was a lot of fun. She brought a lot of fun and matched well with um, Nishuti's doctor. I wonder um, who the next companion will be. I'm, who knows when we'll get more seasons of Doctor Who. And who knows if I will remember to watch it at that time because what usually happens is that I go I go like years like every few years I'm like oh I'll catch up on Doctor Who and then I catch up this just happened to be the new year for me to do that that's what my day is going okay I also just gotta add that I had the thought yesterday earlier I was like ooh, what if I put all my queer books on my bookshelf here all together and then I can have just like a lovely shelf of queer books well and so then I was like hmm let me just like do a quick look at the books and see um how many are queer like if I would even want to do something like that and well queer 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 can't quite remember queer I don't think so but it's queer in the horror of it all Ninth House is so queer. 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 See? Queer, 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 queer. Majority of those, the books on there are queer. I guess they're all ready. Together. <laughs> New day, same outfit, different shorts. But let's do a little rapid fire wrap up because I don't really feel like doing this and I need to do this now. I had a really good reading week despite it being a more realistic week in my life, but it's kind of a more unrealistic amount of pages that I read. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Sunday, 56 pages. Monday, 66 pages. Tuesday, six pages. Wednesday, 199 pages. I just needed to read one more and I would have been an even 200. Thursday, 83 pages. Friday, finished one book, started another, read a total of 117 pages. Saturday, read 26 pages for a total of 553 pages. I finished one book, City of Strife, ended up giving that about a two something, three stars. I think I rounded it up to three stars and I started and finished last night at the Telegraph Club, rounded it up to five stars, but I think it's sitting at around 4.5 really. And then I started Off to the Races by Elsie Silver and that is certainly a romance book. So that's was the reading. That's sort of how my weeks go, especially my weeks in the summertime. Um, and I hope you really enjoyed watching and watching my rambles and hearing my rambles and all that fun stuff. Um, and I thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment. Be nice. Or be mean. I don't know. It's the internet. You can do whatever the one. Anyway, bye. <laughs>